Hi, you guys, Miss Diana. Lonnie. And Luke. And it's Jesus Always by Sarah Young. Today's verse comes out of 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 8. You have not seen Christ, but still you love him. You cannot see him now, but you believe him. You are filled with a joy that cannot be explained, and that joy is full of glory. It sure is. And this one's called The Blessings of Believing. And remember when I'm reading, you guys, let the words go right into your heart like if Jesus was talking right to you. And here we go. Even though you do not see me, you believe in me. I am far more real than the things you can see, more complete, never changing, and without end. When you believe in me, you are trusting in rock solid truth. I am the unbreakable rock. You can keep standing firm and strong on me no matter how much the waves of life are crashing around you. And because you belong to me, I am loyal and devoted to you. You are my much loved child and I want you to run to me for safety. I am your safe place. Believing in me has countless blessings. The most precious one is the saving of your soul forever and ever. Your belief in me also makes your life here in this world so much better. It helps you to know who you are, my beloved child, and whose you are is mine. As you talk to me and spend time with me, I'll help you find your way through this sinful world. I will fill your heart with hope and give you more joy. The better you know me, the more I can fill you with a joy so great that it can't be explained. Don't you love it? That's right. I know it's hard to believe sometimes, you guys. I was telling Lonnie earlier, do you really believe our eyeball was created out of sludge? <laughs> no. I don't, I just don't. So there is a, definitely a creator of, of the universe. It's all around us. Everything's just so amazing. And he created this planet for us, but there's sin. So you guys gotta stay close to the Lord, you know, and he'll help us walk through each and every day. And we know that when we believe in him and trust in him, we don't die. We're going to go to heaven. See all the people that we miss so much here. We're going to see them again. That makes right. me feel really, really good. So stay close to the Lord, you guys. Just keep talking to him, no matter what. Keep him close. Keep talking to him. Tell him about your day. And you'll hear from him. Just, just listen and you'll hear him. Have patience. That's right. Got to have patience in his time. Hold on. That's right. Never our time, unfortunately. That's just the way it is, right, Luke? So we hope you guys enjoyed today's devotional. Let me end in a short prayer and send you guys on your way, okay? So close your eyes and pray with me if you want. Dear Jesus, thank you again for another amazing day to make a difference. For everyone out there listening, Lord, we, we hope you bless each and every one of them. And we always want to lift up the people out there who need it and need healing. And we know if we stay close to you, Lord, you're going to show us the way. We just want to thank you for, for today. And in Jesus' name we prayed and said, Amen. Amen. All right, you guys, go have an amazing day. And stay close to the Lord. And if we can do anything for you, just text me, message me. You know, we'd be more than happy to pray with you for you. Or just to say hi. All right, so anything you want to add to that there, Mr. Lonnie? We love you. <laughs> Jesus loves you. <laughs> and don't, don't forget, forget to, to say, say your, your prayers. prayers. All right, you guys. We'll see you next week. And have an amazing weekend. We love you. Bye-bye now. Bye, guys. Say bye, Luke. Say bye, Luke. <laughs> say bye, Luke. <laughs> Luke. Luke. <laughs> he doesn't have, have no idea. All right. See you guys later. Bye, guys. Bye-bye.